Really? I need, I need, I need salt. Salt, salt me up. Hmm. What is this? This is called Crip Arena, guys. Not something you want to experience in your life ever. Down here, Fish salt all is a day. way of life. <laughs> Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor's salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. Why do I keep getting the feeling this guy has bloodlust? Oh my fucking god. And Hearthstone's like, yo, Crip, fuck you. Here's a loss. I don't know what to do, man. I don't. I'm just getting constantly out-tempoed every single game. Fuck you guys. And I'm playing a very high-tempo deck. Oh yeah, Blood Knight. After having to deal with like three Divine Shields. Does he just have it? It's like, it's over. I just, I just beat Crit. Oh, Startup Arena, three losses in a row. That was fun. I mean, there really wasn't shit I could do. Straight up crazy out-tempoed three in a row. No counterplay. Nothing. Oh my god. God, what a disgusting draw. Oh, I can't even believe that. I'm getting so fucked by RNG today. Okay. The? I just, I just beat Crip. No, it's over. Same shit. All five losses. Lose the early game, can't possibly catch up. Even though I have massive amount of board clears. Paladin's the most broken class while I play Paladin. And uh, I just failed to drop a two drop and lost all of those games. In another game, my opponent just had a better opener. I just wanna have some insurance against what I think is gonna happen here. Top deck evolve. Top fucking deck, dude. Top fucking deck, dude. I would have 100% lost that. I would have gone 2 and a 3 if uh, that evolve went off. Top deck hex, dude. Top fucking deck, dude. Hmm. Let's see if I can catch up now. Spell damage. Turns out if you get lucky while well, you get lucky after getting lucky and then getting lucky for the fourth time in a row, you win at Hearthstone. Wow. This feels really fucked up. Yeah, I got a bit lucky with the top deck Volcanic, but like... Okay, I didn't need it if you didn't top deck a hell of a lot of things, in particular that Hex. Yeah. Holy fuck. No, I'm not quite dead yet. Can you guys pray for me, please? I'm gonna need some luck. Top deck bone bear. Absolute bullshit. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, he made use of a lot of shitty cards, but he got them in the perfect sequence. Got wrecked. What can I say? So, like, if this gets punished by anything other than, like, another ghoul, it's fine, I think. Oh my fucking god, what did I just queue into? And you know me. Always so fucking lucky. Stupid Crip killing into constructed arena. Well played. What? Am I dead? It's not even enough. He needs a mortal strike. Are you kidding me?
Hope you guys enjoyed that match. Features Pirate Warrior, as seen in Legend Rank. That guy lost the game. That was three and one. It wasn't it wasn't three and zero. It was three and one. Tyranda versus Rexa. The light's justice has failed. Yeah, hero cards seem a bit busted in Arena. They're like super legendaries. It's not like quests where they're unlikely to work. It's just like, I win the fucking game. Um, it seems like Arena is pretty much curbstone with a few select high rarity instant win cards. All of which kind of undermine your ability to play, yeah. What the fuck? Does he have any cards of this expansion? What? He knew how to draft. <laughs> oh yeah. See yeah, a holy nova too? Oh come on! What the fuck? What? How do you, how do you get this deck? I don't understand. I haven't drafted anything even close to this deck. Literally, not even close. Oh, it's It feels like one third of the opponents that I play have decks I haven't even come close to drafting. Just like, like that's an 80 point priest deck, All right? I don't think he played any cards in this expansion. I think it was a wild deck. I don't know, my memory's terrible right now. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. You just can't get into it because they would never understand. Top deck humility. <laughs> Come the fuck on. Okay, he needs another answer to deal with this. Fucking god, dude. Come Okay, he needs another answer to deal with this. It's like round six. Like we just talked about how Arena sucks because there's no answers. Apparently this guy just took them all. Oh, no more answers? Oh, oh that's so sad. Take your Death Knight bullshit to 2-2, two two, please. See? We just got a little bit lucky. A little bit fucking lucky. If that's not removal, I'm in good shape. Got one card holding for two turns and the top deck. I just got wrecked. I don't have the balls to take a uh, 10% chance to win versus getting killed by Frostbolt and a whole bunch of other shit. <laughs> I'm gonna lose now. <laughs> I will purify the fallen. He needed uh, a mix of taunt and damage three consecutive draws and got them. Top deck Frostless Jaina. <laughs> Top fucking deck, dude. Uh, I think this is gonna be the definitive game that. Oh, wow. That shows how stupid hero cards are in Arena and certainly don't belong here. All these like stupid bodies is just shit he's gonna ping himself plus another card that's probably gonna give him another card that's probably gonna give him another water elemental. Oh, you got me. 
You literally can't win. It's so fucking stupid, dude. I don't understand how, like... How does that pass? The RNG was fair, you got Tyrion. <laughs> According to her three in his data, which is a lot, but who knows, right? Uh, the mage hero is a synergy card, and the warlock hero is a synergy card. So what that means is, in your first few picks, if it rolls legendary, you're almost guaranteed to get the mage or warlock hero. The other heroes don't do that. The other heroes are not considered synergy cards for some reason. As a result, there's a shitload of hero Jaina's and hero Gul'dan's. Gul'dan's a little bit harder to pull off because there's not not always that many demons in your draft. But um let's just say that seems off. Probably shouldn't work that way.